Hi, uh, Jonathan York from Bank Financial Partners, uh, looking at the investment markets. Uh, really pretty interesting sort of reaction uh, after the US presidential elections. Um, you know, most, most sort of analysts and commentators thought it would be pretty negative for US shares. Um, it's really been quite the opposite. Um, you know, most sessions are finished up. Um, you know, it's just interesting as well to view that it's, it's a lot of the sort of old sort of the economy shares, if you like, sort of steel makers, industrials, financials, banks, etc., that are doing pretty well. And the sort of high tech, uh, um, new, new, new sort of companies um, are just under a little bit of pressure. Now, obviously, you know, jury's sort of still sort of out uh, on, on President-elect uh, Trump, um, you know, still really yet to, to sort of make all, all the announcements. He's made a few sort of announcements on his sort of team going forward. And it's now just going to be very interesting to see how, I suppose, not just the first 90 days, but the first sort of probably six to nine months really sort of pan out for his presidency. You know, really could uh, sort of set the tone. Obviously, uh, <clears throat> the biggest fear would be um, the trade deals. Globally, bonds are under a little bit of pressure as well. You know, certainly if you look at it uh, on the face of uh, you know what what sort of Trump is sort of uh, proposing or sort of talked about, uh, you know, potentially there's a little bit of an increase in the U.S. debt. Um, but it's just going to be interesting to say really to see how that sort of pans through. Um, you know, especially with the, the, there's sort of quite a bit of talk about sort of repatriating money back into the U.S. Maybe some tax breaks for that, but we'll get some tax back. Obviously, he's looking at uh, reducing taxes and increasing spending, and it's just a question of balancing the books. You know, but overall, again, you know, U.S. economy looks in, in pretty reasonable shape. Most people expect the Fed to increase rates in December, and it's now just going to be very interesting then to see the sort of projections going forward in 2017. Uh, you know, certainly if the U.S. economy is growing pretty well, and then you've got this sort of impetus coming through from the sort of you know, new, uh, new sort of Trump uh, presidency as well, you know, potentially there could be a little bit of a build-up out there of sort of inflationary pressures, and maybe the Fed has to put its foot just uh, on the pedal a little bit, uh, a little bit firmer. Obviously, here in New Zealand and Australia, uh, central banks have indicated rates are, are sort of certainly on hold. Um, you know, certainly in the uh, New Zealand case, you know, you've got the, a, an economy that's growing at a pretty reasonable rate, just over three percent, and that doesn't take into consideration uh, the latest, uh, the, the the last sort of couple of uh, dairy auctions, um, you know, which were up, uh, you know, a reasonable amount, just over sort of fifteen percent if you combine the two. Um, you know, and that's going to obviously give a, a further impetus to the economy. Um, I suppose a big sort of question mark is, you know, the the economic impact of the recent earthquake. And it's really just too soon to see how that's sort of going to pan through. You know, as discussed many times here before, you know, there are plenty of options out there for, uh, for investors looking for income. Um, you know, quite, quite a, few, a few attractive dividend shares. Um, and if you're interested in discussing those options, say call us on 0800 867 323 or go to the website www.bayfinancialpartners.co.nz for lots of interesting articles. We look forward to speaking to you soon.